Imagine you're in the practice area, or maybe taking an ECG or EKG exam, and you need to quickly ascertain whether it's an atrial or ventricular arrhythmia. Well, here's a quick tip. As a general rule, an atrial arrhythmia will give you a narrow QRS complex. That is, at its widest point, it's on or less than three small squares wide. Whereas a ventricular arrhythmia, or one where there are ventricular conduction problems, the QRS complex becomes widened and bizarre in shape. At its widest point, you guessed it, it's wider than three small squares. This is because in atrial arrhythmias, the ventricles say it doesn't matter how the electrical impulse is generated within the atria, provided it travels down the normal ventricular pathway, that is the impulse travels through the bundle of his and down through the bundle branches, that's the quickest route electrically through the ventricles and you'll get a narrow QRS complex. Whereas in ventricular arrhythmias, and where there are ventricular conduction abnormalities, the impulse is generally within the ventricular wall itself and takes its time to travel around this abnormal pathway. The QRS complex therefore becomes wide and bizarre in shape. You're looking at atrial fibrillation or AF, and look at that QRS complex. It's narrow, it's a normal shape. And this is the same for other atrial arrhythmias, such as sinus bradycardia, sinus tachycardia, atrial flutter, narrow complex or supraventricular tachycardia. Now here you see third degree or complete heart block. Here there is no electrical impulse passing from atria to ventricles, there's a block. And so to keep the heart beating, the ventricles release their own slow electrical impulse. But because it's from within the ventricular wall, it has to travel around an abnormal pathway, and it becomes widened and bizarre in shape. Therefore, as a general rule, an atrial arrhythmia will give you a narrow QRS complex, whereas a ventricular arrhythmia, or whether a ventricular conduction problems, will give you a wide and bizarre-shaped QRS complex. I'm Dr Richard Hatchett for FastLearnECG.com.